Now we're going to take a look at web application vulnerabilities themselves. Basically, we're going to spend a module where we talked about already the basic weakness within the web itself, or the web servers themselves. Now we're going to look at specific applications and how we can try to exploit those. Within this, what we want to do is understand the overall impact that occurs. There's a lot of different scenarios where we've seen the concept of too much code being run through web browsers and someone being able to exploit this. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to talk about the way that web applications work. We'll talk about the objectives of web application hacking. Understand I might be trying to attack the servers themselves, but I might also be trying to attack people who are going to those web servers. We'll look at the anatomy of the attack. We'll take a look at some common threats that are out there, some countermeasures, and then some tools you can use to attempt these hacks. So a web application setup is basically client-server software application that interacts with user, users and other systems using HTTP. What we're normally going to do is we're going to use something along the lines of Java and run some sort of distributed application. There's going to be some back-end components that may be SQL or something internal to the organization. Basically, you can treat the web server itself as some sort of intermediary where we're connecting up, preferably to a firewall first, then to some web application servers, which are then going to query to the back end to pull up some database mining. To do web application hacking, there's a lot of different exploitive behaviors. What we're going to try and do is maybe deface the website, steal some information, try and exploit some sort of server-side scripting. We may try to exploit buffer overflows just to crash the servers. We may do some sort of DNS attack. We may s try and get some sort of malicious code to run. We may implement another type of denial of service, or we may try to actually just go in and destroy data itself.